feed tube. There's the next repair that needs to be done. It's an old wood chipper made by WW Grinder Inc. Wherever in the heck that's from. Out of the USA, it says USA right there. It's got a XL um, Chicamte on it. And it doesn't look too bad other than it's corroded here and there. Um, as you can see, this is XL on it. Extra life, that's what it means. Not extra large, extra life. In other words, it's got it's like a industrial commercial. That's what it means. Um, there's a little bit of leakage right there. Um, the oil in it is very old. Will need to be changed. He asked me to change it when he dropped it off. Um, this is the customer that just picked up his snowblower, his Aaron snowblower. He dropped this off and said, go ahead and fix this one up too. So, I'm going to. The clean air. The air filter. Um, so, first glance, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, except for the carburetor. The throttle is stuck. Ugh. But moves a little bit. That's not the throttle arm. It's, or it's not the governor arm, it's the throttle arm. And the choke is stuck. Uh. But yeah, that's really stuck too. I have to have two hands actually to start this up. You have to pull this, which disengages that. And then you pull on this and start it up. But as you can see, there, I don't believe there's any fuel in there, unless there is. I can't see down there though. Camera probably can better than I can, like normal. Um, it doesn't, doesn't sound like there's any fuel in it. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If this camera would focus again, there we go. Um, so I guess the first step here, like usual, pull the carb off, check it out. Um, all the fuel lines are going to be replaced. Um, they are, as you can see, very cracked, very old. Um, he said it's been sitting for 10 years, <laughs> which is a long time for a, a chipper to be sitting. Plants growing. Look, 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 look. There are plants and moss growing on it. So, yeah, this thing has been sitting for quite a long time. Look, there's grass. There's actual grass growing from the machine. Strange. But, yeah, he gave me this. Go along with it. Um, I just gotta get it repaired to it, or repaired and get it back to him. Blades are down inside there. Uh, an interesting bunch down there, as you can see. Comes all out here, or vice versa. No, it goes in, goes in this way and comes out this way. I think so, anyways. I don't know. Could come out the bottom for all I know. I don't know. So yeah, time to get her running. I guess we'll get along our way here and. Tear the carb off. Well, that scared me a little bit. Well, as you can see, there's no pre-filter. Uh, we'll be getting a new filter. It's quite dirty. There's a dead bug there and a living one there. <laughs> it's a freaking, there's a freaking queen wasp in here. Look at this. She has no wings. Therefore, she is a queen. Unless her wings are tucked away and I just can't see them. I hate wasps. Of course, I don't have it on macro mode right now, so you can't see her up close, but I really hate these things. I am going to squish it and or burn it. I hate them that much. I just really do. I don't like them whatsoever. Bah! <laughs> eh, it scared me a little bit. Oh, 
have to watch for him while I'm taking this thing apart. Even though she is quite asleep, she still can sting me. Yeah. Creepy. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't that just delicious? It's a wasp's nest here and another one there. One was there. Um, they were all the way around the shroud, but I tried starting it and found that little tiny pieces came chewing out. Um, there's some over here. Right inside that lid there. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't that just delicious? Ugh, I hate wasps. Hate them, I hate them, I really, really do. Oh, give me the willies. Really, honestly, I hate them that much. They just freak me out. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Now I know why it was hard to turn over. Still kind of hard to turn over. But yeah. I think uh, intake or something stuck. Because when I turn it over, that just kind of, well, I don't know. It could be, it could be, it might not be, I don't know. I might have to get the light out here pretty soon to make more videos because it's getting dark. The sun is going down. So, yeah. Hey, T, that's kind of a catastrophe. Okay, look at this. Inside there, a rusted mess. Super, super, super rusted. Um, I was trying to pull this bolt out, and I believe it snapped off, unless that's just what the bolt looks like, but I highly doubt it, because I've never seen a bolt like that. Alright, now look what's inside. It is powdered gasoline. That stuff smells like gasoline. It's just powdered gasoline. Isn't that strange? <laughs> Let's look at it down inside. Yep, it's sheared off inside there. The other half of the bolt is right there. I don't I have an extractor set either, so I can't extract that out of there. <sighs> so I'm going to have to call them up tomorrow. That valve, whoa, smoky. Sorry. That valve right here needs to be reseated. Uh, um, the top half of it, um, it's there. It's not bent or anything. It's strong. It's doesn't have any play. It's just there's lots and lots and lots of crap in the way and the valve is going to burn out if I start it, start it up just like it is. Um, I'm going to have to tell them about the carburetor. Tell them that it's junk. The carburetor is pretty much destroyed. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to call them up tomorrow and give them some bad news. What to do, YouTube? What to do? Well, I guess I'll see you later, YouTube. Bye.